Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hate that the one day I have decided to film this makeup tutorial, I have this pimple situation over here and then I have this thing over here that I always get after I get my eyebrows done. Let's begin. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously to moisturize. I use this Glam Glow Illuminating Moisturizer. It just gives you that super glowy look on your face. Can you see how my face is already kind of glowy? Like, look at this. Just going to use this Caramax lip balm on my lips so they stay hydrated so i have really dark under eye and i've tried every product in the world and nothing really helps no amount of eye cream can ever help this it's genetic so what i'm gonna do is just use this serum stick by tatcha and prepare my under eye and I'm going to be using this grayness reducer by Makeup Forever. It's essentially just orange in color and it's supposed to really help with discoloration. So I'm going to go ahead and put I'm going to use a brush and just blend this in. I am going to use this concealer by Dior. Um, I already put some here and I realized it wasn't filming and I didn't want to remove it. So, sorry. So, I'm super new to the whole beauty blender game. I haven't done it a lot. But recently, I've been feeling kind of experimental. So, I'm just going to go ahead, use this beauty blender and blend all of this in. I'm going to prep this beauty blender with this cordially... Um, crepe photo oh my foot slept oh. I just got done blending the concealer and I am loving how natural and glowy this looks I feel like I don't even need a foundation right now um, I just I feel like I'm gonna keep it this way Okay, so next up, I'm going to use a lighter shade of concealer. I'm using this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. And I'm going to do this trick that I recently learned. It's basically this angled makeup trick that makes your face just look kind of bigger and more chiseled. And what I'm going to do now is just draw a line from here on up. Gonna use some more of this and just draw a line over here as well for that snatched look. Really into that look right now. Do you see how my face kind of just looks a little longer? Next up, I'm gonna use this MAC loose powder to just bake my under eye apply a lot of bra oh my god you see how much it's for is it supposed to do that not an ad for mac i'm gonna still leave this on let it bake for a little longer while i do my eyes using this color bar what's it called color eyelash color what brain free sorry um, feels scary. So I'm going to be taking this Huda Beauty palette called Naughty. It's one of my favorite, favorite eyeshadow palettes ever. If you don't have it, please get your hands on it. You will not regret it. I'm going to be using this shade called Slippery. It's one of their cream eyeshadows and Super nice, super glowy. I feel like I took a lot of it. I'm gonna blend it. Still not. Hmm, 
what do we do what do we do what do we do should I just use this concealer brush to cut this was not the concealer brush fine it's fun to be me okay not bad actually I got what am I doing feeling proud of myself for saving the day not gonna lie I hate how the lighting just keeps changing because of the weather. Take out the excess powder again by using a beauty blender. Almost done. Just gonna do the blush and then the lips. I'm using one of my favorite, favorite blushes ever. Cream blush that you can just apply straight on i like to do this w thing with the blush which kind of gives you like a suntan look and it also looks super natural so i'm just gonna demonstrate how i do it To top it off, I also use this powder blush by its brand called Natasha Denona. It's available on Nykaa. Okay, I'm almost done with my makeup. One more significant thing that I do is with my lips. I don't use a lipstick. I feel like I have really tiny lips and it just defines it and I don't like that. So what I do do instead, do do, is take a lipstick. You can take any one. Um, I'm using this Bobbi Brown lipstick in the shade of Crushed. I think Shivani left it here. And I just kind of dab it. I'm using this lip gloss by Fenty Beauty. And that's it. I'm done. This is my super glowy makeup look that I do. I do variations of it on the basis of where I'm going and what I'm doing. I usually wouldn't add this eyeshadow unless it was like a super glam look. So I would skip the eyeshadow and pretty much do everything else for like a super no makeup makeup look in the day. And if I feel like I don't have enough color on my lips, after my gloss also, I just kind of do this. Forgot the setting spray. Um, I used this setting spray uh, by Charlotte Tilbury. I recently got it and I'm just gonna spray it all over my face so my makeup stays. And now I'm done. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe to my channel. See you guys later.